And welcome back to Affordable Optic. Actually, we finally changed it to Epic Arms. So welcome back to Epic Arms. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Accuracy International ATX, graciously loaned to us by Wolverine Supplies. Now, if you did wanna try this rifle, because when we're done with this rifle, we do have to send it back, it should be at Wolverine Days, a public event hosted by Wolverine Supplies. Now, this rifle, the Accuracy International ATX, which is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, retails in the US around $5,000. So it's not cheap. It's probably about, you know, your equivalent of a custom rifle. So it's really up there in terms of features, in terms of quality, and also in terms of our expectations. We are gonna have some very high expectations for this rifle. In Canada, it retails at $7,200. And if you're looking at picking one up, you can definitely find one at Wolverine Supplies. It weighs 13 pounds, so that's definitely on the heavy side. But for a PRS rifle, this is pretty much what you want. It does come with a heavy contour barrel that's threaded. It has arc rails all along the front of the chassis. It takes AI magazines, but not your typical AICS magazines. I think these ones are like the AI ATAW magazines. So they are double stack and they are a little bit different, which we're gonna go over later. Um, it does have an adjustable trigger. It has an adjustable trigger in terms of breaking weight and in terms of placement. So that's really neat when it comes to, you know, where your finger can be and making it really ergonomic and comfortable. It's got a 60 degree bolt throw. It comes with a 20 MOA. I'm pretty sure it's a 20 MOA Picatinny rail. It's adjustable for comb height, length of pull, and also you can kind of twist it side to side and up and down. So it really has every base covered when it comes to a high end, check every box type PRS rifle. But how accurate is it? So it comes with a 24 inch heavy contour threaded barrel that's in one and eight inch twist that has a quick change barrel system. So if you need to swap out your barrel because you've cooked it after a few too many PRS matches, it's actually really easy to do and it's doable by the average Joe. So for groups, let's talk accuracy. From the worst to the best, the Barnes 120 grain TTSX BT performed at 1.28 MOA. Now for a worst group out of, I think close to around eight groups, that's really not that bad. Barnes Vortex LR 127 grain, 1.27 MOA. Barnes Precision Match 140 grain OTM BT, 1.13 MOA. The Hornady 120 grain ELDMs, 0.89 MOA. Now Hornady's pretty much their 120, 140, 147, all perform really, really well in pretty much all the precision rifles that I reviewed. So if you guys are, you know, buying a rifle such as this or any precision rifle, those should be, those three boxes should be on your list when you're gonna be checking what your rifle likes. Next, the Federal Premium uh, Gold Medal Sierra Match Kings, 140 grains, 0.82 MOA. So we are really good. You could compete with these kind of groups. The Hornady, 147 grain ELDM, 0.81 MOA. The Berger, 144 grain LRHT, 0.7 MOA. The Hornady 140 grain ELDM 0.68 MOA. Now we are talking extremely good groups. And our last and our very best group, which I did a four shot group to start with because it was damn good, was a 0.38 MOA. For a four shot group, that is damn good. And then I turned it into a five shot group, which was 0.66 MOA. So this was the Nosler match grade 140 grain. So if you are buying potentially this rifle, that one should be on your list of match ammos to buy and try in your rifle. It did not perform in most of my other precision rifles, but this one loves it. I mean, it really, really loves the Nosler. So if you're competing, or if I was competing with this rifle, that's exactly what I would buy in bulk. So accuracy, it definitely meets the expectations at this price point. We have very high expectations, and that is what we expect. So next, let's talk about the action. It comes with a 20 MOA rail. The action is a 60 degree bolt throw with a six lug design, which technically is a three lug design that's interrupted. So if you actually take a look at it, it, it looks a lot like your Tika type lugs, but that's just interrupted. So you actually have more load bearing surface. It does have a Seiko style extractor with a standard type plunger. And so far from our experience with this action, they were very reliable in terms of, you know, there was no failures to feed, no failures to eject. It was really reliable and you can single feed too, which is quite nice. Now, without further ado, let's go do some long range shooting. Wow. The 
did not expect the first round hit. I just guesstimated what the uh, drop should be and sent it. Let's go for one, not other one, dead center this time. That's what I like, that's what I like. Also in this video, we were using the Apex Rival. So this is a 4 to 32 magnification by 56. It has 15 mils per revolution. It's got 32 mils total of internal adjustment. It's zero stop, a revolution indicator, excellent quality glass, illumination, first focal plane. If you're looking for something that checks out all the boxes, that's high quality, high end, I definitely recommend taking a look at the Apex Rival. Next, let's talk about the trigger. So they advertise that the trigger is adjustable between 1.5 and 2.7 pounds. We found that to be very close to being the case. Our variance was about 0.2 of a pound on the high side and the low side, but it went as high as three pounds. So it does go a little higher than 2.75, which is not uncommon. And yes, it does go as low as 1.5, which is my preference for, you know, shooting off barricades. Any lower than that, and I feel like it goes off a little bit before I'm actually ready. Also, what's really neat about this trigger is, is it not only adjustable in terms of breaking weight, but it's adjustable between where you can have that trigger shoe. So you can move it closer if you have a smaller hand or further away from the grip if you have a large type hand, which I really do appreciate that. And also it's a two stage trigger, which I like two stage triggers. Next is the stock. So let's talk about the butt and work our way to the front. So it's adjustable for length of pull. You simply loosen these up and you pull it out wherever you want it. And it's also adjustable in terms of up and down, which is something you see on higher end rifles and higher end uh, chassis. Not only that does it go up and down, but it can also go from side to side, just like this. So it's got everything you could possibly want. Adjustable for comb height, it takes AR-15 type pistol grips, and this grip is actually quite comfortable. You won't be disappointed and you won't, I mean, at, least, at least I didn't really see the need to upgrade it or to change it out for the typical MDT uh, elite grips, which is usually what I do for my uh, chassis type rifles. Now working our way to the front, it does take AI style magazines, but not the AICS ones we're typically used to, you know, from MDT that are typically the most popular. These ones actually take AI ATAW mags. Now the difference is these are double stack as opposed to single stack. Now, in my opinion, I prefer the other style. For one, if you bounce this off the ground or give it a good thump or potentially drop it, I've noticed a tendency for rounds to kind of pop out of this, uh, this magazine. So that's just one thing I have observed. Other than that, I mean, it works great just like the other ones. Now on the chassis, there's something different about this chassis. So they actually did a cutaway into the magazine well. So you can slip this in easier and clip it into place. Also the magazine release is easily accessible from your index and it'll drop freely. Now on the magazine well, they integrated a very nice barricade type stop right here. So as opposed to, you know, the pressure going on the magazine and potentially causing, you know, a failure to feed, which I've observed on other, you know, precision rifles, this one, the weight would be distributed onto the magazine well, which is quite nice. Now on the front of our chassis, we have our rail over the entirety, which is amazing. Cause I mean, I shoot off tripods a lot now and this makes it really convenient so if you're shooting in tall grass obviously laying prone ain't gonna happen well if you have you know a good quality tripod such as the sunway photos that actually i'm using if you are looking at picking up you know high quality tripods for shooting definitely take a look at sunway photos you can find them on cdnprecision.com i'm actually that's my website so if you want to support me support the channel make sure we have awesome content um, that's one way to do it. And we provide great prices. So if you're looking for a shooting tripod, check out cdnprecision.com. Now, working your way to the front, you're gonna notice it has key mod, which is not typical. Actually, they call it key slot, which I'm not really sure if there's a difference or it's just a different lingo. That is a bit more of what we typically saw, you know, more 2010, while in now in 2023, M-Lock is the standard. So. Why it's in key mod, I'm not exactly sure. Personally, I would prefer to keep everything in one type just so it's easier to just have one type of thing in stock here. But 
Next, let's talk about aftermarket support. So there does appear to be some aftermarket support for barrels, and that's about it. There is an aftermarket trigger, but it's the AI com competition trigger, which I'm thinking might be the trigger that's actually in this one, because this is a competition rifle. I'd assume that that's what the trigger would be in this rifle. Um, also, there is no aftermarket chassis options. Then again, this is a pretty awesome chassis. I don't really see the need to upgrade really anything on it. Actually, on the chassis, there is something you can do. You can buy an app, you can buy from Accuracy International a hinge to turn this into a folding stock. So if that's really what you wanted, that is a possibility. And lastly, let's talk about the warranty. So Accuracy International offers a one-year warranty for the original purchaser only. It only covers defects in materials and workmanship. It doesn't cover damage, uh, damages caused by hand loads. So keep in mind, if you're making hand loads, it's kind of on you. Also, it doesn't cover normal wear and tear. So if we're talking barrel erosion, you know, if you shoot like 10,000 rounds through it in like a six millimeter Creedmoor or a 6.5, your barrel will probably be cooked. So that probably wouldn't be covered. Next is unauthorized adjustments, repairs, or mods. So, you know, just keep that in mind if you're doing any of those things. So that's my thoughts on the Accuracy International ATX. In my opinion, this is a really, really nice high-end rifle and a good option for those of you who want a factory option for PRS shooting and something that's, you know, really easy to swap barrels. For example, if you wanted to go from 6.5 to 308, it would simply be done by removing a screw and unthreading the barrel. So yeah, thanks for watching Epic Arms. And also, if you enjoyed this video, we have an entire playlist on precision rifles on even some custom rifles. So be sure to check those out.